So here we are with Brett and his amazing gold wing. Is it 1100 you say? Yeah, GL 1100. GL 1100. 1983. 1983. So what can you tell me about it, Brett? Uh, well, <laughs> The website explains it all. <laughs> My throat's going. <laughs> right, I better catch you before you go. Yeah, yeah. So, what can you tell me about this amazing creation, Brett? Uh, well, it started out that I've, I've always been into steampunk since a kid, really, when I watched uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and oh, Mary yeah. Poppins and all that stuff. So, I've always been into steampunk in the style. A creative and, style, um, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I've always wanted to do a steampunk custom bike. Well, I, I haven't got room for welders and things like that, so I haven't chopped it about or anything much. Um, so I thought, well, I'll pick a gold wing because of the engine. It's kind of like a um, turn of the century industrial revolution look. So that was a good starting point. I found this bike and then uh, eBay became my best friend during lockdown, which I bought all the different parts from eBay. So like the rest of us, you had a lot of time on your hands. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So it this, use. it came out. Yeah, like this, and um, so a, a bit of madness come out in it as well, because there's a lot of uh, tongue-in-cheek stuff going on, comical stuff, which is to do with Sherlock Holmes and Watson, and that became okay. the theme yeah. of the bike. So steampunk style yeah. with um, theme of Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Bikes. So a lot of brass, yeah, yeah. 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 all leather lined yeah. behind yeah. there. Oh wow! So all these little intricate bits here, right. leather lining behind them. Copper. It's a little water pot that runs down on the exhaust oh, yeah, yeah. and steams yeah, for yeah, steam pump. Yeah, leather belts on there as well. Yeah, yeah. And all the leather work you see, like these little pouches, was done by my friend David for Will Halls. And he did all the pouches all the way down the bike, all the handcuffs, toilet roll. You've got a violin on the back. You can see the oh, you need a toilet there. roll? Yeah, toilet roll. It's a conundrum paper as well, so you can work out all the conundrums. <laughs> And then we got violin, because Sherlock Holmes used to play the violin. It's got thumb cuffs and handcuffs. And then all over the bike there's little references like this four and this wolf's head. The wolf's head is the Hound of the Baskervilles. The four is for the story, the sign of the four. Um, these little bits here, both sides, they flash blue for the police lights. And then there's all sorts of different tools that are used for different things. There's a truncheon on there. He's got his pipe and there's a little steampunk. Yeah, you can, I can clearly see it now. And then down there is a little saying that steampunk is used. So you've got some modern uh, LED Yeah, that, that just shows what mode the bike is in. And oh, at the okay. moment, it's Sherlock Holmes bike, and it's in the irregulars mode. Is this a, um, like a seat, isn't this it? This is, the again, the leather work that was done by my friend David Warhols. He, he did all the leather work on this. And this I bought with different level work on it. He stripped it all off and then he put it back on with new stuff all relating to Sherlock Holmes and oh. Watson. In there is a miniature microscope for forensics. Yeah, you need that when you're a detective. <laughs> <laughs> you thought of everything. So, yeah. so you're obviously a big Sherlock Ho uh, Holmes yeah, fan. Yeah, I mean, there's a lots of references to all the different stories of Sherlock. What about his sidekick? Have you got anything from also... Dr. Watson? Yeah, there's all well, there's, there's references to their stories, yeah. but also the modern ones that are like Enola Holmes and the Irregulars on Netflix. Okay. Um, in the tank here, they've got a drinks cabinet, and then they've got cards. Right away, he's got his little opium pot there. Okay. Yeah, they got Sexton there, which is like the new satellites we yeah. use now. Yeah. Yeah, and then like pipe. the modern Netflix, Netflix one called The Irregulars, this is the demon toothpaste which is to do with the demon dentist. So there's, there's references to all the new Netflix spin-offs oh, of Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. And this year I did all the all the clocks and the stained glass window. This is off a ship broken away in India. Um, so you've really got a creative India. mind haven't you? You've really got a creative mind. Yeah. I can see that. Well, lots of people say they wouldn't want to spend long in here. But <laughs> <laughs> well, Sherlock yeah. Holmes was a character, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a character. And also, I've done little engravings on, on here. Well, I think I've four minutes ago, where are you? 
So can I ask you, Brett, how long has this taken you to actually create this amazing bike? Uh, I've had it six years. Only and, six years? Uh, it's taken me four years to get this far, because the first couple of years I had to get the bike running properly, and there was problems with the brakes, there was problems with the engine, a few wiring problems. Once I got that sorted and it was a rider, then I started to really work on the theme of it, which was Sherlock Holmes and Watson. So for six years, it's quite impressive, I've got to say. Yeah, four years doing all the hard, yeah. steampunk, plus I sorted out all the backdrop there. And I've written a piece of music, 14 minute piece of music, to go along with showing it. It's not playing at the moment. Wow. But I'm also a songwriter, so... Oh, wow. All, okay. All, all my passions and talents have all come out in this bike. I built a website, which you can see I can see, see that. that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've done all sorts of stuff, really. Well, I'll put your card on there as well. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.